the Namib Desert is harsh and unforgiving. To minimize contact with the scorching surface, the Peringi adder lifts and winds its body over the sand. He searches for a suitable spot to hide from his prey. Skillfully, he buries his whole body, leaving only his eyes and tail exposed. Hopefully, the worm-like tail will lure a passing gecko or lizard within striking distance. The shovel-snouted lizard would make a perfect meal for the adder. This is another well-adapted inhabitant of the unforgiving desert. During the hottest time of day, the lizard is either hurrying over the sand or performing a thermal dance to avoid overheating. The adder waits patiently for the performance to finish. In vain. For the small Peringi adder, life is not without its dangers. Sometimes it is preyed upon by the Namaqua chameleon, largest of its kind in the area and bigger than the quarter metre long adder. Avoiding detection, this Peringi adder moves easily over the sand. Although perfectly camouflaged against the sandy background, it buries itself, becoming almost undetectable. Immobile, it waits for suitable prey to stray near. While foraging for small beetles and insects, a barking gecko moves within striking range. The lure, tempting. Too quick, the fangs strike. The gecko struggles a futile. Soon the venom will paralyze its tiny body. survive in Africa's harshest environment, the Namib Desert. Oh. 